Good morning. Welcome back to our sessions on DBMS. Today we will discuss about active databases. Now, what do we mean by this? Traditional database management system is passive in nature. That means any of the commands executed by the database, whether you talk about your query or your update operation, delete operation, etc., are all going to be when requested by the user. They are not automatic. Either user or the application program through which we put a query to the DBMS, it executes that command. It has that passive update principle, which means the client controls the DBMS updates. However, some situation cannot be effectively modeled by this pattern. Let us just try to see a passive transaction model. Assume that you have a online uh, buying uh, bookseller, wherein this particular DBMS textbook of a particular author has been sold nearly 25 to 50 copies on a particular day. Now, it has so happened that there are less than 5 copies available. Do not you think that a retailer would always restock it before certain threshold level has reached? So, that whenever there is a demand request, you should be able to fulfill that. That means, somebody should keep checking this and whenever the reorder level reaches, say for example, in our case we say, when the number of books are below 5, I immediately need to order say 100 more copies. Now, when I am talking about a passive model, will this system work? Say, let us see some more examples like that. Look at this railway reservation system. It so happens that certain times we need to add extra bogies or you are aware that the railway department adds extra bogies to accommodate more passengers who may travel during that season. It may be some festive season where people keep going to their hometown and things like that or there may be a cultural event which is going to happen so that people try to go and visit that. Say for example, you talk in terms of your uh, uh, Republic Day parades and things like that. People from all over the state move to Delhi in order to perform there. So, such kind of the things or any of your athletes, sports or say for example, there is a cricket match. People do travel. When these things are known prior, maybe the department decides to add an extra bogey to accommodate more passengers or you talk about your inventory control like what we were seeing in our previous example. There is a requirement for reordering when the quantity of the stock falls below the threshold or say stock market, you buy or sell stocks when the price is below or above the threshold value. All these cases when I talk, if you are talking in terms of passive system, maybe I just have to add solution to it, maybe I will write a functionality of checking this. Uh, say for example, I do a write a code wherein you can check this particular thing. Every time a sales is made, I want you to check that particular thing by the application program. What happens is with every installation, you have to make a copy of it, duplication and all these things become a problem. Or maybe I have a polling system. You keep periodically polling for checking that particular condition getting satisfied. There again two types of problems. If the polling is very high, it incurs cost. That means, if you are frequently checking. If it is very low, in that case what may happen? By the time you have checked, maybe say for example, this railway reservation system, many of the uh, users or travelers would have been rejected because of non-availability of seats. By the time you have checked the poll or otherwise polling has happened, many of them had been reverted or otherwise rejected back. So that by then you have realized and you have added so many customers you would have lost. So now, the solution for this can be the active databases because in an active database, the previous problem can be moved from application level to the uh, DBMS itself. The reactive behavior should be moved from application to DBMS. What does that mean? active databases are capable of automatic responses to event. The so called 
function which I was talking wherein you check for that particular condition has to be associated with the DBMS so that it can automatically respond to that situation. You remember what we discussed about this automatic execution or automatic firing? Nothing but your triggers? Yes, your active databases are those which involve triggers in them. So what does it do? They will be able to monitor and react to specific circumstances of relevance to an application. That is they have a knowledge model which checks for this uh, conditions or uh, which describes that particular mechanism and an execution model which is the reaction to that the runtime strategy for supporting this particular behavior. So the general idea is along with your regular DBMS primitives you also have a definition of application defined situations plus the triggering of the application defined solution that means ECA model it is able to react automatically to the situations in the database allowing specification and implementation of this reactive behavior like you check for that um, it you embed the situation and the action rules into the database so it can also control your uh, what do you say uh, integrity and change the notifications and all those things but basically there will be an event which will automatically trigger the action that is why we say active databases functionality is available as triggers and those databases in which triggers are present are called as your active database that is it ok. So here what happens is see when 25 copies of your DBMS Elmistry and Navate is sold and the DBMS checks that the sales uh, quantity has come down immediately whenever you are updating see when you are selling something you have to minus that uh, number from your stock. So when you are doing it update operation you will automatically check for the condition if quantity is less than 5 if so you are immediately placing the reorder either reorder is initiated or it will be intimated so that there is a pop up coming up so that administrator can put it whatever is whatever action you have decided for it you are going with it. So recognize the predefined situation and uh, predefined actions which will be automated ok. So the key components of active databases are the triggers, events, conditions and actions. Triggers are nothing but the core features enabling this action based event. Events are those like your uh, DML we said insert, update and delete. Conditions are those situations or criteria which has to uh, for which the action has to be taken and the actions are the uh, situations or the uh, task that has to be done when that particular situation occurs, condition is satisfied. Okay, so it is that ECA model what we have discussed in your triggers, ECA event, condition and action. Event is the change that initiate the process, condition is the test that becomes true or otherwise when that is true the action automatically is triggered ok, it process triggered if the condition holds. So when you are talking about your updating the product quantity in an inventory table, this is your event, the condition is quantity drops below the threshold action would be send an alert or initiate reorder. So event, condition and action. Event is that particular performance or the process, condition is the situation which has to trigger the action and action is the actual performance ok. Fine. What are the advantages? You will be able to automate your databases, it reduce the manual uh, monitoring and because of which there may be delay or there may be mistakes that can be avoided. Improved data integrity ensures rules are consistently applied without the need to someone to check. Real time responses, instant reactions ok. So when you are talking about your bank transactions, somebody need not check whether your balance is going to be low if you withdraw the money or otherwise after you have withdrawn are re utna nahi hota usme balance nahi hai nahi automatic system or by the time when you say you want to withdraw it will check by withdrawing that is it going to reduce your minimum balance criteria if so it will not allow you at all. 
So, that is what is the advantage. The applications would be your banking sector, telecommunication, inventory, data, auditing, so many. Just to name a few, I have given you the few things. Okay? So, keep in mind triggers associated with database makes it an active database. So, this is one of the important topics under your triggers and databases, active databases. Okay? Hope you have understood the importance of it and enjoy. Thank you.